Hi everyone. Today we are going to be solving the following interesting equation. Sine of pi over 8 sine squared x plus integer part of square root of 1 minus cosine to x equals to 3 over 2. We want to find the solution of this equation that belongs to the interval pi over 3 to 5 pi over 6. First step, we will simplify the term in the integer part function. So 1 minus cosine to x equals 2, 1 minus and 2, cosine to x is 1 minus 2 sine squared x. And so 1 minus cosine to x equals 1 minus 1 plus 2 sine squared x. So canceling 1 and minus 1, we get 2 sine squared x. Now the equation can be written as sine of pi over 8 sine squared x plus integer part of square root of this term equals to 2 sine squared x and equals to 3 over 2. We are working in the interval pi over 3 to 5 pi over 6. And in this interval, sine of x is positive. And so square root of sine squared x will be sine x and not minus sine x. Then the equation equals to sine of pi over 8 sine squared x plus integer part of square root 2 multiplied by sine x equals to 3 over 2. Now we can solve the equation. We are working with the interval pi over 3 into 5 pi over 6. Now to make the solving more easier, we have to split this interval into two intervals, which are from pi over 3 to 3 pi over 4, and from 3 pi over 4 to 5 pi over 6. Now for every x belongs to the interval pi over 3 to 3 pi over 4, the values of sine x will be between square root 2 over 2 and 1. Now multiplying by radical 2, this interval becomes 1 to radical 2. And so for every x belongs to pi over 3, 3 pi over 4, square root 2 multiplied by sin x belongs to 1 and radical 2. These numbers are 1, 1 1.01, 1 1.1, 1 1.2, etc. to square root of 2. And so the integer part of any number in this interval will be 1. And so for every, for every x belongs to this interval, the integer part of square root 2 multiplied by sine x will be 1. So now we have this quantity is 1 in this interval. For the second interval, we have for every x belongs to 3 pi over 4 to 5 pi over 6, the values of sine x are between half and square root 2 over 2. Similarly, multiplying by square root of 2, we have square root of 2 sine x belongs to radical 2 over 2 and 1. These numbers has an integer part of 0. And so for every x belongs to this interval, this quantity integer part of square root 2 sine x will be 0. Now we can discuss the two cases. We will begin with the second case because it's easier. So for case 2, we have for every x belongs to this interval, the integer part of square root 2 of sine x equals to 0. Now we have our equation, and we can substitute instead of this integer part 0. So the equation becomes sine of pi over 8 sine squared x plus 0 equals to 3 over 2. And so sine of pi over 8 sine squared x equals to 3 over 2, which is greater than 1, because the equation sine alpha equals to 3 over 2 is impossible. Sine x must be between minus 1 and 1. And so in this interval, we don't have any solution for this equation. Now let's take the first case where the integer part is 1 in this interval. So we have for every x belongs to the interval from pi over 3 to 3 pi over 4, the integer part is 1. And so we have now sine of pi over 8 sine squared x plus this quantity is 1 equals to 3 over 2. So sine of pi over 8 sine squared x 
equals to 3 over 2 minus 1, which is half. So sine of pi over 8 sine squared x equals to 1 over 2. We know that the angle pi over 6 has sine equals to half. And so sine of pi over 6, pi over 8 sine squared x will be this half is sine of pi over 6. But we have to put plus 2k pi and find if there is another solution other than pi over 6. Now, let's find the bound of this term to know the solutions, if it's pi over 6 only, or we have another solution. So sine of pi over 8 sine squared x equals to sine of pi over 6 plus 2k pi. We are working with this interval. And for x belongs to this interval, we have sine x belongs to square root 2 over 2 to 1. Now we have to find this term. So we can flip these terms to have 1 over sine x belongs to, we can put now 1 over 1 and 1 over square root 2 over 2, which is square root of 2. Now squaring we will get 1 over sine square x belongs to 1 squared and 1 and square root of 2 squared, which is 2. Now we can multiply by pi over 8 to get pi over 8 sine squared x belongs to 1 multiplied by pi over 8, which is pi over 8, and 2 multiplied by pi over 8, which is pi over 4. So this term belongs to pi over 8 and pi over 4. So the only solution that can fit this interval is pi over 6. And so we have And so here we have pi over 8 sine squared x will be equals to pi over 6. So pi over 8 sine squared x equals to pi over 6. We can cancel out pi and pi to get now 8 sine squared x equals to 6. And so sine squared x will be 6 over 8 and it's equal to 3 over 4. So sine squared x equals to 3 over 4. And so we can write sine x equals to plus or minus square root, square root of 3 over 2. But sine x belongs to square root of 2 over 2 to 1, which is positive. And so we can take sine x equals to square root of 3 over 2. The angle which have a sine equals to square root over 2 is equals to pi over 3. And so we can write sine of x equals to sine of pi over 3 plus 2k pi. But we are working in this interval from pi over 3 and to 3 pi over 4. And so the only solution is pi over 3. Therefore, the solution of the equation sine of pi over 8 sine squared x plus integer part of square root of 1 minus cosine to x equals to 3 over 2 is only x equals to pi over 3 in the given interval. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.